Hi everyone, this is Vipul at your channel Add Value to Lives. Today we are covering a topic evolution of money in a brief kind of point by point uh, continuation. Uh, it all started uh, with commodity being used as money. Commodity would include uh, a living animal, stones, shells, uh, wood or uh, skin or grains or fruits or vegetables and there was a physical exchange of good, goods one or goods A against the goods B and that exchange was called barter system. From there we evolved to metal. Metal would include precious metal and semi-precious metal. Precious metal would include gold, silver semi-precious metal would include copper, bronze, etc. From there, we evolved to paper. Now, paper was introduced because it was physically very tedious or risky to carry gold or silver as a currency to, to buy goods or to, to, to make the payments. So, paper currency was in form of a promissory note or a, a note uh, which would hold X amount of gold is being backed against this paper so the acceptor of this paper understands what is the value of that paper. These were issued during the kingdom times and um, kings, were issue, kings would issue or their finance or the treasury departments or the, the ministries would issue. Uh, from there we moved on to plastic money. Now plastic money is a little more secured, a little more uh, uh, well mechanized system which includes credit cards, debit cards, gift cards or prepaid cards which hold a value or a limit uh, being issued by the banks uh, or the financial institutions to the holder who has earned that limit capacity within the card to be spent at a respective outlet to buy goods or services outlet would have a small mechanism system of a cash machine or a computerized cash machine, FPOS machine or a EDC machine or a POS machine to accept the, the money through the, the cards yeah? and uh, deliver the goods or services against those uh, cards that is instant, instant payment and instant delivery. Yeah? Then we move on to an online mechanism where a person sitting at one corner or in a, in a part geographically would book any goods or services on a website uh, on an internet platform uh, from a vendor or a, a seller or a manufacturer and the money goes from one corner to the another corner and the goods then gets released by the manufacturer which are shipped or couriered or posted to the buyer. It may take few days to complete this transaction cycle. Now, this all from paper money to plastic to online is being done into fiat currency which is the currency issued by Central Bank of respective country. Okay. In terms of uh, international trade, it will be uh, a transaction between two different currencies say fiat 1 versus fiat 2 and there would be a exchange uh, exchange rate uh, against different currencies so the money has evolved from commodities to online fiat currency one or two or three multiple currencies and get exchanged. So this is how the money changes the hands um, locally, domestically, regionally, nationally, internationally. Today, this is, this is the stage where we are. One step forward is the beginning of era of digital currency, which we will cover up in our next video. I hope you've liked this video so please give a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel to keep getting updates on the evolution of 
the digital currencies and currencies and trades and so and so forth so much to be covered and so much to be shared so you guys have a lovely day thank you very much take care